All right, good morning and happy Thursday. That's right, we are back in the rotation. Can you tell me where we are? I'm gonna give you five more seconds. All right, that was like three seconds, but now it's probably been five. We are in Mrs. Wood's fourth grade classroom. Woo woo! That's right, we are back in the classroom rotation. I'm sure I have something else to teach you or show you about what it's going to be like when we come back. Maybe I'll show you the one directional walkways, one way in, one way out. Ooh, maybe tomorrow I'll show you our thermal temperature checkers where you walk up to your forehead and it takes your temperature to say, beep, you're okay to come in or red, red, red. Uh, so red alert, red alert. All right. So that will be maybe tomorrow. Maybe that's how we'll start our Friday. Who knows? All right. So we have one cupcake today. I mean, one birthday today. Xavier Reyes, it is your birthday. Happy birthday to you, buddy. I hope you have an amazing day. And I am curious, did you pick up your library books yesterday? On my walk over here to Mrs. Wood's classroom, I saw Mrs. Aguilar in the staff lounge with her plexiglass all set up and ready to pass out books. So I hope you had a chance to pick up your books yesterday. Uh, and if you did not have a chance to pick up your books, they will be available in the office. You can come by and pick them up tomorrow, but not the next day. Why not, Mr. Reeves? Why can't, why can't we pick them up the next day? Because it'll be Saturday and we the office will be closed and we will be home. Uh, so you will be unable to, but maybe on Monday you can, but remember to reserve more books for next week. All right, uh, let's see. The countdown to the end of Footsteps of Brilliance round five contest, and is it round three of AR? I've lost my sense of time during this time has become one big jumble. So maybe it's round five, maybe it's round three. I, I'm not quite sure anymore. So, but we shall see what it comes into. All right, let's see. Uh, I will announce winners probably next week. Oh, I know it's only Thursday, but remember, you've all been working so hard since we've come back from the winter break slash Christmas break that I'm giving you Monday off. That's right. Take Monday off. No school. Don't log in. You don't have to worry about getting uh, phone calls if you didn't log in because you were sleeping until 10 or 11 or whatever it may be. So go ahead and take Monday off. My, my treat. You're welcome. I know. I know. You're welcome. It, Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, just out of curiosity. That's what I was going to ask you. Raise your hand if you did your footsteps of brilliance yesterday, or if you took an AR quiz, like Miss Morrison's class. I know you were supposed to be on footsteps of brilliance for 40 minutes yesterday. Did you do it? I know Miss Morrison's class went from second place in the last round to like fifth. All right. Let me see. Hold on. You good. All right. Good, good, good. All right, yeah, well, I know not all your hands would be up, and that's okay, because every day is a new day, which means today, take an AR, AR quiz or log on to Footsteps of Brilliance and get in your 75 minutes of Footsteps of Brilliance today. All right, good. Doesn't really have to be 75 minutes. All right, uh, let's, all right so uh, let's move on to today's fun fact and today's joke. All right, so... Here's my question, because I read this on Google, and you know, I feel like Google doesn't lie to me, but I had to question this one. Google says the very first animals in space were fruit flies. And when I read that, I thought to myself, are fruit flies animals? Are they insects? Are animals insects? Are insects animals? I wasn't quite sure. But Google's words say the very first animals in space were fruit flies. So, if you find out later, let me know. You know, maybe do a quick mini report, mini research, whatever it may be. And today's joke, Miss Branko, I was thinking of you when I when I saw this and I wrote it down. I said, this one is for Miss Branko. Miss Branko, why did the farmer ride his horse into town? Any guesses, Miss Branko? Do you, do you know it? Have you heard this one before? Why did the farmer ride his horse into town? Because it was too heavy to carry. <laughs> because it was too heavy to carry. Maybe you got that joke. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Thursday's morning announcements. Get ready to say the flag salute, right? California flag, American flag, California. All right. There you go. 
Remember these words on this beautiful Thursday. Did you see that weather yesterday on Wednesday? 72 degrees, blue skies, and sunny. An amazing day. I want you to remember these words on this probably even more beautiful Thursday. Beautifuler. Don't say that. It's just a joke. That I believe in you. That all of your teachers, wherever they are in this world, they all believe in you. And we know that together we can do anything. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay amazing. Be amazing. Have a great day. Work hard. Your future self will thank you for it.